another video in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I created this look right here which I am obsessed with and also in today's video we're gonna be trying out a ton of new makeup some of this stuff is not like new on the market but it's new to me and I've never tried them before um, so yeah I'm really excited for today's video so the eyeshadow palette like I said is a brand new palette for me new brand never heard of the brand before never used any of their products this is the first thing that I'm getting from this brand and it's called blend bunny cosmetic this brand actually popped up on my feed on Instagram and I seen this eyeshadow palette and as soon as I followed the brand I seen so many people reposting the palette so many people excited for it and I was like okay if all these people are talking about this palette and how good it is I definitely need to pick it up so this is what the palette looks like right here it's really pretty just like a black sleek packaging but the letters right here are holographic as you guys can see as you shift the palette the letters also shift to different colors and then when you open it up of course it's a colorful eyeshadow palette are you guys surprised so this is the palette right here you guys it is so beautiful it's a full matte eyeshadow palette that's super colorful as you guys can see there's no mirror in the palette but you know what I honestly don't mind because I personally never use mirrors inside of my eyeshadow palette so I don't mind that um, it's also very very lightweight because there's no mirror in here so we're gonna be using this in today's video I'm also using the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation as well as the Dior Universal Primer that you guys see me haul in my most recent Sephora haul um, I'm also wearing the new Wet n Wild Ink Cognito concealer today so we're testing out a ton of new things I hope you guys are excited before we jump into today's video please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you guys have not already I do post a new video every Monday Wednesday and Friday I did have a little bump in the road recently but I am back on schedule so you guys can expect a new video three days a week so make sure that you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on a video while you're subscribing make sure that you hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe button that bell basically notifies YouTube that you guys are interested in knowing and getting a notification every single time I post a new video so make sure that you guys hit that bell and of course as always if you guys would like to see how I created this bomb look today and see all of these products in action then just keep on watching <music> You guys so let's go ahead and get into this makeup look so of course I'm gonna be priming my eyelids with the P Louise base in the shade rumor number two I love this base especially doing colorful looks it's definitely essential you guys definitely need it and I'm gonna actually blend it out with this morphe buffing brush and jumping into today's palette like I said this is the first time I was using this palette this is the blend bunny cosmetics blends palette it has 30 shades it's a full matte eyeshadow palette and it's colorful so we love that so the first shade that I'm going to be using is the shade Lux, which is a beautiful forest green but first I'm going to go in with some scotch tape and just put the tape on the edge of my eye just so that way I have that nice crisp line once I go ahead and peel off the tape so all I'm doing here is starting to create the shape of that cut crease that I want and like I said the tape is going to be your best friend because you could be as messy as you want on that outer part of your eye and not have to worry about precision right now so once I had my shape down now I'm gonna go in with the shade remedy which is a lighter green and I'm gonna start to diffuse that harsh line that I created with that darker green color and I'm really taking my time and as you guys can see I'm working in sections to do this and just keep in mind, I'm keeping my brush more on that darker green than I am on my bare skin. So the next color I'm going to be going into is the shade Wildflower. It's a beautiful yellow shade. Guys, it's such a unique color. It's so beautiful. And I'm taking this on a fluffy yet blending brush. And this color is also going to go right on top of the shade Remedy. So half of my brush is on top of that lighter green shade and the other half is on my bare skin. So I'm creating that really beautiful ombre that we all love. And this color, like I said, was so gorgeous. So once I had all the shades pretty much laid down, I know exactly where everything is going. Now I can go back and kind of just refresh each eye 
eyeshadow and kind of continue to build the intensity until I'm pretty happy with it. So during this time, you also have the chance to bring that eyeshadow higher. You can keep it where it is. Right now is the time to play because you basically know exactly what colors you're using and where they're going. So I started off with the dark green, went in with the lighter green, and now I'm going back in with the shade Wildflower just to make sure everything is really nice and blended. And then of course, once I was pretty happy with the shade, with the intensity, now it's time to go ahead and clean up the lid. Of course, I'm taking a Q-tip and just a little bit of the Garnier Micella Water, specifically the one with the pink top. And you guys, I'm telling you, this method is a game changer. It's literally creating the shape for you and all you need to do is fill it in super super easy so to fill in and create that cut crease i'm going to be using the blank canvas base by p louise and mitchell and like i said it's super easy all i'm doing is following that line that i created with the q-tip and then i did go off camera to kind of do most of it but i did want to show you guys this part right here so i am going over the green as you guys can see but i'm more concerned about getting the base towards the top of the crease i'm not too concerned about the bottom part because i can always go back in with some green shadow it's no problem but the top is where you do not want to mess up so don't be too concerned if the bottom portion of this eye look is looking a little bit rough right now because the base is getting all over it because like I said we can just go back in and definitely perfect that area which is what I'm going to do now the brush that I'm using here is actually an eyebrow brush this is the Anastasia I believe number 14 brush and I'm going to use this to obviously connect that wing to the crease again. And I actually took off the tape and then reapplied it because, you know what, using the tape is just a little bit easier and I took it off too soon. So just an FYI. So now what I'm doing here is just taking the shade Cream and Sugar from the same blend palette. And I'm applying this basically just white eyeshadow everywhere that I'm not going to put color. And then for the center there, I'm going back in with the shade Wildflower. And then I also added just a touch of the shade Remedy. Keep in mind, this does not have to be super super perfect because we're about to cover this whole thing with the shimmer shadow the only reason for me putting this down first is so that way you can't see any white or any of that kind of skin tone color from the base through the shimmer so for my shimmer on the lid I'm going into the glam light ice cream dream palette and the shade right here is called lemon it's a beautiful shimmer yellow gold it is stunning I do have a discount code with glam light if you guys are interested it's gonna be down below in the description box this is one of the best palettes ever you definitely need to pick up the ice cream palette because honey it's gorgeous so now it's time to peel off this tape and of course we have that nice crisp line of course we need to clean it up we'll do that in a second but I am going to go in with the one size point made liquid liner and what I'm going to do with this is just line my lash line and that's it super simple and easy I did go ahead and clean up with some concealer I did that off camera just because it was a little tedious and then that's basically it for the eyes so for mascara I'm going to go in with the air volume mascara this one is from L'Oreal I've been loving this mascara. I think I found a drugstore dupe for my KKW mascara. I'm in love, but I'll keep you guys updated. I'm still testing it out. So then I went ahead and popped on my lash. These are the new Kiss Matte Collection lashes. These are the matte sheer ones. And that is basically it for the top of the lid so far. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into the face makeup. Alright you guys, so the eyes are basically pretty much done for now until I have to do the lower lash line. So we're going to work on my base makeup. I did want to try some new stuff in today's video, so that's why I'm going to talk through this part. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just mist my face with a little bit of the e.l.f. Restoring Facial Oil Mist. This is what those mists look like in case you guys have not seen them before. I did find mine at Walmart. They're about $5 each and they are bomb. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray my face with some of this. So now that I have that on while that soaks in, I just want to show you guys what primer we're going to be trying out today. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Primer. It doesn't say any specific shade. It just says 001 Universal. And this is what the packaging looks like right here. And this is what it looks like right here. So I am just going to apply this to my skin. I've never used this before, like I said. Okay, so first impression, I really like the way the primer feels. It made my skin feel really smooth, and it doesn't feel like silicone-y, if that makes sense. It kind of feels like a really nice smoothing moisturizer. It feels really good. I actually really like it. So now we're going to go in with foundation. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation. This is what the foundation looks like right here. I did haul this 
in my Sephora haul so I'm excited to use it today and I'm using mine in the shade 2.50 hopefully it matches I don't even know if this is my color yet but we're about to find out so here's the shade of the foundation right here and I think it's gonna be too dark to be honest you guys this is definitely more warmer and my skin this is the shade it's definitely gonna be too dark but we're gonna have to make it work because I really want to try out this foundation today so it's fine okay so I don't know how much coverage this foundation has so I'm gonna start blending and I'm gonna be using this elf complexion duo brush I love this brush it has the foundation brush on one side and a concealer brush on the other it's bomb so let's go ahead and just start blending this foundation in Okay, so, so far so good. I mean, the coverage, obviously, you guys can see it has really nice coverage. I would say it's like a medium to full coverage. It definitely covered my skin. I will also say that it dries down a little bit faster, so I'm just going to quickly go ahead and blend this side out. All right, you guys, so that's what the foundation looks like with one layer. Obviously, the color is not the right shade for me. I literally look like I'm wearing a mask right now, but that's okay because I'm not about to drag this foundation all the way down my neck because, I don't know, I just don't like that feeling. I don't have a new cream bronzer to show you guys today, but I do have one that I recently purchased that I've been showing you guys And it's this one right here from nude sticks. It's a really nice cream bronzer You guys this one is in the shade of bondi bay and I honestly love the formula on this. It's so nice So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my skin with this really quickly using my Fenty Beauty 125 face brush I mean look how pretty it's like more of like a natural kind of bronze but it's so beautiful and so smoothing and it's just so easy to apply I'm obsessed with it Alright you guys, so cream bronzer is on. It's looking amazing. Everything is looking really good. It applied really well on top of that Beauty Blender foundation. So, so far, so good. Now we're going to go into some cream blush. This cream blush is also from the brand Nude Sticks. This one is in the shade In The Nude. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this to my cheeks. And by the way, I'm using my e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator. This is perfect for cream blush. Oh, I was not expecting that to be that pigmented. So what I'm going to do is just tap it off on the back of my hand and then apply it. Oh, that color is so pretty. But they're really, really nice. This is also a matte formula, so it doesn't have any sheen to it. It's really pretty. You can use it, obviously, alone without any foundation. You can use it over top of foundation, like I'm using it today, but... How pretty is the color? I think it's very, very pretty. All right, you guys, so cream products are basically on at this point. I'm ready for concealer. So for concealer today, I actually want to test out this new concealer right here. This one is from Wet n Wild. It's their new Incognito Concealer. I do have three shades because I wasn't sure what shade I was going to be. I have light beige, medium neutral, and also light beige. Okay, great. I bought myself two of the same shade. Of course I would do something like that. So I have actually two shades. So I think I'm going to go in with the lighter one, which is called light beige. I think that color is going to be perfect. And I hate these plastic things. I can never get... Oh, girl, that was super quick. I usually can never get them off with my nails. They take forever. But this is what the concealer looks like right here. I'm really excited to give this a go. I've seen a few people use it in videos, and the coverage looks amazing. So I'm just going to go ahead and just apply it underneath my eye. They actually have really nice coverage. 
I'm very surprised, especially because it's wet and wild, so it's like a super, super affordable concealer. That looks really nice, and this color is perfect for me. The other shade that I have is the, I believe I said medium neutral. That one's a little bit darker, which I feel like would work for me as well, because as you guys can see, this is a very brightening concealer shade, I should say, not concealer. It's a brightening shade for me, um, but it looks so nice. And I will say, it wasn't too thin in consistency, but it wasn't also like really thick. But it's really nice and workable, I will say that. I don't have a new under eye setting powder to use for today's video, so I'm going to go off camera really quickly and just set underneath my eyes and also set my face. I'm also going to apply my bronzer and my blush because I don't have any new ones to show you guys today. And then we can move on to highlight because I do have a new highlighter that I want to show you guys. Alright you guys, so I went ahead and bronzed up my skin, applied my blush. So moving on to highlight, I wanted to try out this highlighter from Cara Beauty. Unfortunately, it came broken, so I'm not going to be able to show you guys the shade. But it's in the shade Diamond Light. And I will go ahead and leave it down below. I'm going to leave everything that I used in today's video down below. So you guys can check there. And I'll try to pop up a picture, but it's like shattered. But I still want to give it a go. So I'm just going to open it up super, super carefully. And I'm going to be applying it with the Morphe M504 brush. It's really nice. It looks like it's really pigmented, so let's apply it. Girl, look at that. It's like gold gold. It's very pretty. It is very, very shimmery, though. I will tell you guys that right now. If you're not into a very shimmery highlight, I don't know if you will like this. Um, by the way, I do have a code with Cara Beauty if you guys are interested in saving some money. On their website, I do have a discount code that I will put on the screen, and I'll also leave it down below. My discount codes are always in the description box if you guys wanted to use my code. No pressure, just putting it out there. So we're going to go ahead and jump back into voiceover, so that way I can show you guys how I'm going to do my lower lash line today. So let's go ahead and get into it. Alright you guys, so let's jump back into this lower lash line. So I'm first going to go back into the shade Luxe, which was that forest green. I'm taking this on a flat definer brush and pressing it super, super close to my lower lash line. And then I'm going in to the shade Remedy and just basically blending out that darker shade. And then of course I'm going to switch back to the flat definer brush just to add a little bit more of the shade Luxe because it is going to get lost. And then for my waterline, I went in with the shade Electric Daisy from ColourPop. I really love this liner from ColourPop. The color is gorgeous. This is actually the second time that I'm using it in one of my tutorials. And then I'm going to go back in with the one size liquid liner and I'm just going to flick out that inner corner. And then of course my camera decided to not be in focus anymore. So that's that. Let's move on to the lips. So for lip liner, I'm using my KKW lip liner in Nude 2. I would show you guys the color up close and what the pencil actually looks like, but mine is super, super tiny. I did place an order to get two more. It's been sold out for a while, so I'm excited that one is on the way. And then for liquid lipstick, I'm going in first with the Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipstick in Nakey Nakey. And then I'm applying just a little bit of Jeffree Star's I'm Nude liquid lipstick in the center of my lips and I'm going to go in with a flat, this is just an eyeshadow brush, just to go ahead and blend out that lighter liquid lipstick into the darker one if that makes sense and I love doing this and then after doing this I always go back in with my lip liner just to re-intensify that line so everything looks really nice and structured and then for today for setting spray I decided to use this Fenty Beauty one. I had it in my collection for a while now and have not used it obviously. It's really nice, it gave me a cute dewy finish but it wasn't my favorite so just being honest I went ahead and dried that down and then last minute I decided to add a gloss this right here is the flat white gloss from bite beauty that they discontinued so I'm sorry you guys but it's literally my favorite so that basically completes today's makeup look what do you guys think I'm obsessed I'm trying to really get into these full cut creases I really hope you guys enjoyed it as always thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!